Hello, everyone. Can you guess who you have with you at this very moment? Do you think it's Donna, or do you think it's the one that all the women envy? They want to be, and the men flock to come see. The blonde bombshell that is darling. That's who you have. Anyway, we missed each other last night, didn't we? We uh, didn't do the raw review, blonde bombshell style. So uh, to uh, get in the mood, so to speak, you know, wrestling was yesterday, so we have to have something for today. So I hope that they can forgive me. I'm stealing a song. That's right. I'm not proud of it. No. But right now, you're about to hear one of the songs that made me watch wrestling. It is the best song done by one of the hottest. Well, he didn't sing it, but he walked to the ring. And that's important to this song. So, since it's in the Halloween October time, what better way than to put on some mood music while I do a review. So here, let's go back in time, shall we? That's right. We're going to go travel way back, WCW, and listen to... Okay. With that being said, we have a Monday Night Raw to review. We started off with John Laronitis, and again, a replay of Triple H. But then again, when it comes to Triple H, you can replay that man all you want. Of course, he was being relieved of his duties, and Vince was the one to do it. And then, of course, we made John Laronitis the GM. Uh, excuse me, interim GM. He talked about Rey Mysterio, but we never did see Rey. Then again, it is John Laronitis, so... Enough said. Oh, uh, can I tell you that he does not have my confidence? Not even for one minute. And he's letting us down. That's right. As a fan, I am not happy. And understanding his mistakes, I don't want to understand him or his mistakes. He was hired, then he hired JR back to what? Only make a mockery of the man? He's a Hall of Famer. Ugh, that public apology, even that hug to JR was so pathetic. And then another replay. Oh my goodness. Like, what happened while JR was leaving? We all wanted to know, right? Colin Rodriguez saying, na 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 na, hey, 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 goodbye. Cole and Del Rio versus J.R. and John Cena. The match was made by Mr. Laronitis. A lot of trash talking was kind of impressive, actually, between J.R. and Cole. Uh, then, of course, we learned about a six-man tag match. And uh, we saw a replay of Orton and Mark Henry and Rhodes. You know, Cody, you bagging Mr. Orton was just pathetic. But then again, that's you. Uh, Orton watched what we saw, and of course, he did not like what he seen. Rhodes and Vengeance uh, was mentioned, and then of course, Mo John Morrison, Seamus Christian, Rhodes, Mark Henry, all came out. During that time, they mentioned that Sunday, Mark Henry will meet the big show for the title. And chaotic action always took place in the ring. You know, Blonde Bombshell stayed awake for that. Anyway, Rhodes took the fight right outside the ring, up the ramp, and then outside of the ramp, or on this to the side of the ramp, and then to the back. Mark Henry won, meaning Christian and Rhodes win as well. And then there was another replay. You know, I think there's a rock song, although I couldn't be sure, that's named Replay. Just saying. And tonight, Punk Miz, uh, and JR and Cena and da 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 to see Cole and Cena Del Cole and Del Rio. Larry Nidus, can you tell I've written this all down? I have a nice little handy dandy book here I'm reading from, so this way I can keep up to date and you all can't argue with me. I love being right. 
anyway, Laronidas and Del Rio have words, and what was the deal with Laronidas? Because I actually fell asleep during this uh, little part here where we could see Laronidas in the back, and there was lipstick right here. Of course, it was not my lipstick, and nor would it ever be. I didn't even stand that man, but what I miss? It's seriously, anything? Anyway, winner was to pick the stipulation of the title match Sunday, and then of course Eve was accompanied with Kelly Kelly, and then Sunday we learned that Eve will face Beth Phoenix, and Monday Night Raw's match was Natty versus Eve, and Cole, I want you to just go away while you're, you know, mentioning things here. Michael Cole, he's annoying. If you all don't watch the show, you don't know, but this man, he really just needs to go away. Eve won, and up next was Punk versus Miz. Then we learned that this Sunday, Cena versus Del Rio at Vengeance, of course. We already knew that, but we have to be reminded again. And then, of course, uh, we also had to be reminded that at Vengeance, Triple H is going to uh, team up with an unlikely alien, CM Punk. And Miz and R-Truth will face them. Then we learn that Punk is going to take on Miz, and of course our Truth and Miz rap sing out to the ring. More trash talking takes place. Then Miz and Truth, while Punk watched on, uh, as always, have a whole... Ha must have an ace in the hole, right? Well then, there was that wonderful music that played. Triple H came out, showing his support for Punk. Then, out of nowhere, we see Mr. John Laronitis again. Of course, he informed Triple H that he had an immigration problem. And what I love most about this, what I've always loved most about Hunter, is that he can take the fight right to you. And what did he do on his way out? He made a statement. He punched our truth who was mimicking him. And what better way to show someone that you're not going to take it anymore than punch them. Love it, baby. That's my kiss to you for congratulations. And, uh, of course, there was a promo for the big show. You know, there's so many promos, replays. It's like watching the same show over and over again. Anyway, Mark Henry, Laronitis, and then uh, Mr. Jennifer Hudson escort out uh, Triple H to get his paperwork in order. Punk was having to go back in there in that match, and thank God he won it. Uh, the numbers game, though, began to catch him with Miz and Truth beat up on Punk. Refs were sent out to stop the beat down. Our Truth hit a move on Punk, then Miz hits the stone crushing finale. Punk was left a mess in the ring. And then we see lots of mariachis. Mexican announced team was uh, talked about. The debut of the WWE Network. Name another TV show. Uh, another casting the vote thing on WWE.com. Vicky Guerrero, Jack Swagger, and Duff Ziggler was uh, talked about being more than a pretty face. Ziggler and Swagler to face Air Boom at Vengeance. Z Zack Ryder. Yay! And Zack Ryder won his match against Swagger. Um, then Mason Ryan, who actually came out to help uh, Ryder, came out and said, Where do you think you're going, Ziggler? You got a match. Get back in this ring. So, uh, he got back in the ring, but Mason got DQ'd, uh, and then a uh, beat down didn't even stop Ziggler and Swagger, Swagger felt the pain, and JR and Cena talk, Cole talks again, be a star, which I am proud of them doing that, good job, JR, Cena won, and then Cena chose last man standing match, again, the man is improving in my book, I... I gotta be honest, at first I really did not like you, John Cena. I'm being honest. I'm all for the grapplers, the ones that crawl, scrape, work their way to the top. That's my kind. Anyway, John Cena, you're starting to win my respect. If you can actually hold your own in this last man standing match, you might have a spot in my favorite wrestlers. That's uh, quite a hard thing to do. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and say to y'all, 
hello. Missed you. And what do I give Raw this week? Hmm. Let's see. Immigration problems. Only partial Triple H. And no uh, major deal with him. Ah, oh, gosh. I'm going to have to drop you back down. That's right. See? Sorry. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And uh, there will be another announcement tomorrow night. So uh, stay tuned.